Hello, my lovely friends. This is Sunday evening, October 2nd, and I've been working pretty much all day on creating my nursery space. And I wanted to share it with you because I'm so happy. So we're walking into the room, and this is my room in our house. It also serves as the guest room, but I call it my room because it... I spend so much time in here with the dolls and I'm just going to take you on a little tour and I'm going to try to do this. This is the bed. This is our, our bed and there's Ricky there on the bed. She gets the privileged spot today and I've got my quilt, my bird house quilt. I love bird houses and I love birds and I put it in this room and then if we go back a little you'll see I have several dolls but I mean different. I have different dolls too besides Reborns but here is Miss Sally sitting in the middle of my two um, Cabbage Patch, original Cabbage Patch kids, the soft sculpture kids that I've collected and this is Katie Scarlet and uh, she actually has freckles too she's adorable got her a few years ago and she comes with the birth certificate and everything she came from Cleveland Georgia from the Cabbage Patch um, Hospital Museum there where they just make the soft sculptured uh, dolls there they don't and they don't manufacture the ones you buy in the store and um, I'm I was able to go there to Cleveland a few years ago into Georgia to the Cabbage Patch General Hospital there and what a fun trip I was lucky to get out alive with just two of these and they're not cheap um, but they they're sure fun and I sure love them and I've always loved Cabbage Patch and there's Miss Sally sitting in between. And this is Thea Molly. And I love her. I just fell madly in love with her. With her red cheeks and her dark hair. And these are not the original clothes that they came in. I changed them. They, they fit in like size six months. Um, Jimboree, but they're so fun. So that is who sits at the end of this bed on the, and on a leather chest. And then over here, we're going to walk. You can see our corner over there. We'll get there my changing table that I got for $19, which I love. And then there's my um, filming station. It has my light. And I can't turn any of that on because it makes it too bright in my tripod. And we'll get over there in a second, but um, here is the other little corner, and um, has a bookshelf, and it's not white, which or that uh, or the lighter oak color. It's this dark, but it's all wood. We've had it for years, and it's followed us from move to move to move, and it ended up in this room for books, for my for my books, and I really have no place else to put it. And maybe someday I'll paint it white or I'll just leave it that way. I don't really care. But it's a bookshelf and it has um, all my favorite collectible books that, that, I, that I've kept. And I really cleaned that out today. Sent a lot home with my daughter. If you're a Jean Platy fan, oh my gosh, I have almost everything she ever did up here. But... Um, I just I have my trinket box, some of my trinket box collection, which I love these, and they're all animals, and I love trinket boxes. And I'm going to try to do this without making you sick, jumping all over. But inside each trinket box is something that has to do. This is the polar bears, and in there is a baby polar bear and a fish. And I'm seeing if I can't get this to focus better I don't think anyway maybe there and then each one has something this has a little thing of baboo and this has a baby turtle and then 
I have these two dolls. One's a Marie Osmond fairy doll, and then that one in the back is um, one that I got years ago, and I don't even know um, where I, how I got her, but she's older, and I love her, and she just stands there. And um, I've just never given her away, and I've given away a ton of my porcelain um, Marie Osmond dolls. I had quite the collection. I've given them away over the years. But I kept my little fairy. And then down here is just this little chair there. It comes from my mother's. I remember this from being a little, little girl. I don't know anything about it, but I always loved that little chair. And my mother had some really beautiful little pieces and when she died I brought them home but this one ended up here and I love that little um, chair and then in, there's just a picture of me and my honey we won't go into that one <laughs> and there's the cabbage patch stork that I got for Mother's Day years ago and that's pretty cute um, it's bisque and he's holding the baby and I and I love that so so that's just the bookshelf, and there's just odds and ends down there. And Curious George that's going to my granddaughter. We put him there for that. And then down here in front of the bookshelf is one of my babies. My baby girl, Sophia, with giggles. And I'm not going to try to kick open the bathroom door a little bit to get more light. Okay, so there's, there's Miss Sophia down there in, in the um, the little jumper thing. She's there. And then up here, I love this. Um, it's my little display. And I, I'm going to have to back up, I think. You can see I have my little shelf. And up on top is that that's something I made when my 35-year-old daughter was three years old. Those are her her uh, handprint and her footprint. And it says Concetta Marie on the top when she really goes by Connie now. But we did that and um, fired it and I've hung it up and I have it there. And then here is, this is a British bird actually. This is a, a British titmouse is how they call it I think. Suzanne would probably know what to say better but I embroidered that. And I loved it because I love birds, and I love, I love that bird. It was just so cute. And I did that on my machine. It took quite a while. There's a lot of uh, thread changes and stitches in there, but that's there. And then right there are some vintage baby shoes. And they actually came from Crystal Wind with Ricky. And then there's a little Linux puppy that somebody got me years ago. And then down here, I've hung up two vintage, this is a vintage um, Feltman Brothers or Freed Knit white, like little, almost a christening gown. And I love that, and that's on a satin hanger. And it has beautiful embroidery on it and pin tucks, as you can see. And then the smocking up here, they're just beautiful job. And then here's a handmade, um, gorgeous little pink knit sweater that um, I found on eBay, and it's beautiful. And I put that up there with her. And so I'm going to turn you around carefully because I have no pause on this camera. And we're just going to go very slow. And we'll go over here. And then this is, like I had said, was my filming station where I have my ot light and my tripod. And that really works for me. And then the, I have my little France and London chests here. And they're filled to the brim with doll items and doll clothes. And then over here is my uh, $19 new acquisition of a changing table and it has three of my beloved little kids on there it has um, it has Charlotte in her new little outfit that I got her and I could not wait to put her in it um, it's from Oshkosh on one of their super sales 
and it's for fall because it is getting chilly here if you can believe it and I did her hair quite fluffy and we thought we'd try that and I love it like that but then I found a black and white bow and then there's her darling pink coral um, little lightweight sweater and here's one of those onesies that have the little um, skirt that comes over it and that is the cutest little motif has the mama giraffe and the baby giraffe and it says I love you on it and then here's the little black and white jogging pants and they even have side pockets really Oshkosh makes wonderful quality clothes and then I have these little um, coral and white booties for her feet and I just love this and it's a long sleeve onesie she doesn't have to wear the sweater with it um, for fall but I just thought it looked so pretty on her and there she is with her fluffy little do and say hi pretty girl hi oh there's my beautiful girl I love you and then here's her little friend is um, is her little elephant that is handmade and it's just adorable and then we have Finn my little man cub bear cub Finn and he and um, Oliver are wearing those collectible um, Oshkosh uh, onesies that were on sale that they were advertising and I put them in those and they're so cute and I'm sorry about the lighting ladies but this is if I turned on the other light the out light we wouldn't be able to see them at all be too bright right now but there's Oliver and his little bulldog um, onesie and Finn and his little fox onesies little woodland creatures which I love and he's wearing this darling little knit hat I got it bye bye baby that was on clearance and it came with that one and then another one and I just love it on him anyway and so then that's my um that's my changing table which I really really love and it has a drawer that comes out underneath and underneath that I just have blankets and my stuffies and there was a, a shelf that should have gone in the middle, but it's uh, missing. When I went to buy it, I only paid $19, so what do you expect? Well, and then I have some bottles over here on the side and stuff that I use for the babies. And then over here, I am going to try to reach over here. This is my favorite corner in this room. And my granddaughter, who's seven, she was over here, and she, she loves this room. And we sit in this little corner, and we read books and talk. And she's seven, and it's wonderful. And I hit, right here I have uh, my beautiful little Miss Victoria, my little ducky, and her. she's still in that outfit because I can't bear to take her out of it because it was so cute. And she's in a um, Moses basket, uh, little bassinet that I have. And it just fits perfect right there. And then up here, I have I have two collectible German bisque dolls that I love. And uh, this one is actually a baby brew doll. And um, I just thought it sh she's that she is a bisque, and it's a retro reproduction of of um, a nineteenth century. Uh, handmade doll in Germany but she has gorgeous little shoes on and little bloomers and then two slips underneath her her gorgeous dress with her bonnet and um, this is what uh, a little girl would be ordering uh, back Victorian times um, from Germany who was making these dolls at the time and um, I just I loved her and then um, here is the other one and she's kind of she is a bisque doll too she's not a baby brew she's called a mining mine link link <laughs> libling or whatever was another company that did them as well and she 
has the same type of thing. She has these darling little booties on her and this dress. I, I love this dress and it has the slip underneath and the bloomers and her darling little... I love her face. I just... I love her face. And, and she has these blue accents in the satin. And they're here with me. And then, of course, my little suitcases and and my, um, Ricky's bunny, Ellie, is sitting there. And then I have this picture that I love that I got years ago. And of this little girl with her dog, of course. And it's a Victorian little girl. And I'm hoping that you can see it. I'm going to turn this light off. Oh, I don't know that that helped. But um, it is a darling picture of this little girl. I have that there. And then I have these two boxes that Baby Brew is sitting on, or this one box, excuse me. Um, she's sitting on that that I got from Marshalls. And I forgot to show you the top. I'll walk over there now. So that's, this is my corner. And this is where my granddaughter and I sit down on the floor there. Or I sit on the bed and she sits on the floor. And uh, we read books and talk about the dolls. And she has one of my cabbage patch. I had a third cabbage patch. And uh, that I, and she fell in love with the one of them. And I couldn't resist. I just gave it to her. So every time she comes over here, she brings Brianna. And over here on top of my shelf in my corner with the vintage things, is um, the little bunny that Katie, uh, my little world Katie, Katerina, um, gave me, and I just love her, and she sits up there, and she's on top of these two baby boy boxes that I got at Marshall's, and then this little, this thing is really neat. This is a music box, and it's one of those vases that you would get flowers in back in the day with the babies, and this one was actually given to me for my daughter, Robin, who's now 20, almost 25 years old. And um, I have that. And then I have my little hedgehogs, which I love. And my daughter painted these for me for Valentine's Day. It's something cute for Valentine's Day. And I loved them, and I said, I'm putting them right up here. And then I have this other little shoe that is a vintage... Um, she would, I loved the colors, and it was another little vintage vase, which I love those, and I like to collect them. I'm going to get a few more, but I got this one off of eBay. Anyway, so ladies, that is my nursery, and there is my girl, Ricky, on the bed, and there's my, all my girls, and my little boys are over there with my pretty Charlotte and there's my our corner again with I love elephants and I collect elephants and oh I'm gonna walk back because I want to show um, Yvonne from having you on I told her I had a crocheted elephant because she showed one the other day and there's my little crocheted elephant with the little tutu and I just love her so she has her own little special place as well.